Hello, in this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between peer-reviewed and professional journals. Um, so peer-reviewed and professional journals both have their place. They're both really useful, but for specific purposes. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the differences and why we would use one or the other. Uh, now, to clarify, many organizations publish both peer-reviewed and professional journals. Um, so if you specifically need information that is peer-reviewed, it's important that you figure out whether it is peer-reviewed or not and do not base it on the organization and whether you trust the organization. Just as an example, here I'm showing uh, the National Strength and Conditioning Association, NSCA, uh, publishes five different publications, two of which are peer-reviewed journals and three are professional journals or professional publications. All right, so the differences between the two. Um, so a peer-reviewed journal, it means that everything published in that journal has been reviewed by a panel of unbiased experts in that particular area to determine whether that article is worthy of publication. So they're looking to make sure that the article is not biased, that the uh, methodology is sound and so on. So they're reviewing it. Uh, they have no stake in it. So they're not being paid. They're not part of the research. So it's totally unbiased review. Professional journals do not go through that kind of rigorous peer review process. Some professional journals have kind of somewhat of a review process. There could be an editorial board that's reviewing or uh, it might go through some kind of process like that, but it's not even remotely um, the same kind of vigor as you'd see in a peer reviewed journal. Uh, peer reviewed journals include original research articles. So a, a scientist goes and conducts research and publishes their research in a peer reviewed journal. Uh, and you'll also see systematic reviews that are reviewing the body of literature, but using very um, systematic methodology to do so. Uh, professional journal, in contrast, includes articles that are written for professionals um, that could be based on original research, but it is not a report of the actual research itself. Um, so peer-reviewed journals, they are providing primary sources of information. So the articles there are original works. It's original data and original research performed by those scientists, whereas professional journals are secondary sources of information where the authors there are often writing about primary sources. They're writing about research articles and uh, things that are found in the research literature. Um, so peer-reviewed journals typically exclude opinions, biases, and commentary. That's the goal of the peer review uh, process, is that we're trying to keep those things out. It's meant to be as objective and unbiased as possible. In professional journals, that is often still the goal, but you'll also see more opinions, biases, and commentary on things uh, because there is no peer review process to keep those things out. Uh, in some cases, it's actually a benefit. You might see opinion-based uh, articles that can actually be beneficial because you can learn about how other professionals are interpreting some of the literature. Um, but it's important to understand that you're not getting that um, just clear, unbiased view like you would get from a peer-reviewed journal. Peer-reviewed journals are written for anyone in the scientific, academic, or professional community. Uh, professional journals are written for professionals in that particular field, whatever that field is, to help those professionals be able to apply the findings that were found in the research literature. Generally speaking, peer-reviewed journal articles are more challenging to read. They're usually um, more scientific. It includes more statistics and math and things that are usually harder for um, most people to read and interpret, and usually we require uh, some amount of education or experience to be able to read and really understand and apply what we're reading there. In professional journals, the nice thing is that they're a bit less challenging to read. They're usually written 
um, so that most people in that profession are able to interpret and understand what they're discussing. So professional articles or articles in professional journals are written more as a, a bridge sort of to bring some of the peer reviewed literature to professionals so that they can integrate that and apply it professionally in their career. Um, so both types of journals have their place in the world. Both are very important. But if you are specifically needing peer reviewed information, it's important that you check on your source and that you're not confusing and using professional journal articles where you need peer reviewed journal articles. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.